title of this mini podcast is Intimacy. The word intimacy has taken on a sexual persona over the years. That's sad because it's so much more. Closeness has been overshadowed by its sensual sibling that we forget what it's like to be really intimate. Intimacy creates a bond and it engenders trust, even after the volume has been turned down on the lust. Intimacy has transparency as one of its major ingredients. You trust your secrets to someone you're intimate with, no matter how dark. I think very few people experience intimacy in this lifetime, simply because they're too caught up on the surface to capture the depth of it. People fear intimacy. It's hard for many to let people see into their glass house that they keep deep in the woods. The fear is being found out. That fear keeps our facade in place so no one can explore our depth. You would think you'd become more intimate with your mate. The evidence points in the other direction. 50% of marriages fail. It's not because people found out too much about one another. Perhaps they found out too little. They may have feared going deep with another because they would have to share their underlying fear that says, if you really knew me, you wouldn't like me. Therefore, that part of you stays fully clothed. It's fascinating to witness a person tell a total stranger their intimate secrets rather than share them with their partner. It happens every day. From my vantage point, there's too much work going on in relationships. Work to keep your secrets hidden. When both of you do that same kind of work, you erect your castle on a foundation of sand. It's only a matter of time before a big wave hits and exposes the weakness, the failure to become intimate. Intimate relationships survive storms. Facades eventually fall to the ground. How hard are you working to keep your secrets? Here's the arithmetic. The more you keep hidden, the less intimacy you experience. How open can you be? It's truly the key to intimacy. All the best, John.